Hi everyone, welcome back to another video review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Cooler Monster Silencio 452 Mid-Science Tower case. Now as we know, the Silencio range is a range of cases aimed to be silent and more designed to be used for home theater PCs and normal everyday work PCs. But as we are also used to see with the Silencio cases, is that they also offer a lot of features which appeal to PC gamers and enthusiasts. The 452 also finds itself in this position and therefore I can already say that it's a very good value case given the amount of features you get for the price you pay, which should be around or rather under 70 euros. Now the case itself is painted in what they call midnight black. It's not a very big case although in the interior it looks more spacious than what you would expect when looking at the 452 from the outside. The 452 also weighs 6.14 kilograms which makes it a very lightweight case. Now starting with the front bezel we find a plastic door with noise absorbing material on the inside of it. The door is held into place with magnets and the direction in which it can be opened cannot be changed and I think it's a bit unfortunate that the door doesn't open any further than in an angle of 90 degrees. With the door open the front panel offers two 5 quarter inch drive bays of which the covers have lost filters. Underneath there is a removable cover with washable dust filter for the intake fans. There is one 120mm fan included, but you can also install an optional one or two 140mm fans or there is even space to install a slim radiator with two 120mm fans. That radiator can be installed using these two metal rails. The front panel can very easily be removed by pulling from the bottom, although doing this is not needed in normal use. On the side of the front panel we come across the power and reset button. The power button contains the blue power LED and underneath both buttons a hard drive activity LED can be found. On top we come across the microphone and audio jacks, two USB 3 ports, a USB 2 port and an SD card slot. Like we saw on the front panel, the side panels also have noise absorbing material. This is one of those features which sets this case apart from other cases from its price range. The side panels are held in place with thumb screws. In the rear of the case a 120mm fan is included, but there is also the option to replace it with a 92 or 80mm fan. They include a 3-pin to Molex adapter with the included fan as well with the front intake fan. The PCI slot brackets are disposable which in my opinion is always a bit unfortunate because after some time you might be changing something in your system and would need the bracket back in. Note that on the bottom there are also some rubber feet included for the power supply unit to rest on. On the bottom of the case we find 4 plastic feet and a dust filter for the intake fan of your power supply. Now this dust filter is a bit unhandy when it comes to cleaning the filter. When the case is standing right up, which it mostly will be, you need to tilt the case to get to the filter to clean it. This makes it a bit less easy to do that. If we have a closer look at the interior of the 452, we'll find the case is suited to fit an ATX and Micro ATX motherboard. The case supports CPU coolers up to a height of 158mm and supports graphics cards up to a length of 368mm which these days is basically any graphics card. The motherboard tray has a very large hole for cooler retention plates and there are big cable management holes with grommets. There are also a couple of holes for cables of the front 120mm fans or other fans that might be installed. Unfortunately it seems that the room for cables between the side panel and the motherboard tray is less than a centimeter though, including that there is also a noise dampening material to take into account. This means that any cable management that will be done will have to be very tight and flat. Cables with individual cable sleeping for example will be hard to hide as they are much thicker. On the motherboard tray there are also many punch outs to attach cables to. In regard to 5 quarter inch devices the 452 supports two of these and they can be easily installed by using the included tools clips. The 452 also supports up to 7 3.5 inch hard drives which can also be installed using the included toolless clips plus an extra 2.5 inch drive like an SSD which can be mounted on the bottom using 4 screws. Now with the hard drive cage we really get to the point where the 452 really shows what else it is capable of. 
As I mentioned before, there is a lot of room in the front of the case enough to install a 120mm or 240mm radiator. Now, Cooler Monster also made sure that you can get your water cooling tubes to that radiator by leaving a couple of openings in the top of the hard drive cage. If you're not using the top compartment of the hard drive cage, they've made sure that you can get rid of that by screwing out a couple of sunscrews. Now, they don't seem to mention this in the manual, but if you don't even think about using the bottom compartment, they've actually made it possible to also take out that compartment by screwing out a couple of screws on the bottom, front and side of the case. Then you'd only be able to install the 2.5 inch SSD on the bottom of the case, but you will have the best possible airflow and more room for perhaps a reservoir and pump in case you think about going full out on water cooling. After having installed the system in the case, I can say that that's a fairly easy job. There aren't any issues which obstruct the process, except in the end perhaps one that is in my opinion a big one. It's what I suspected from the first moment I opened up the case, as I already had mentioned in the unboxing video, it's a cable management. So Cool Master added all the good options for that, except for enough room behind the motherboard tray. And I managed to install the side panel on that side, but it was quite a struggle. I don't like it when I have to do that because you're forcing everything to fit and that's not always the safest way of working. So basically the 452 should have been a bit wider to allow for more room behind the motherboard tray. Other than that I should mention that you can also install an SSD on top of the bottom hard drive cage, just like I did here. Also I used a CPU cooler with the maximum allowed height, it fits perfectly as you see and doesn't hit the noise absorbing material. If you turn on the system we notice that it's very silent and that's due to the noise absorbing material which seems to do a perfect job. To conclude, I have to say that this is a very good price quality case. You get a lot of features for a very reasonable price. 452 offers practical tool design, it's very silent, has many good cooling options and also the stock coolers are a good start. I would however recommend that in case you plan to build a gaming system in the 452 with hardware that gets a little hotter than the usual, a stronger couple of fans couldn't hurt. Also the water cooling options for both closed water cooling loops like the Iceberg or Zidon CPU cooling solutions from Cool Master or for cooling loops with all the separate components are very nice and well worked out. The only big downside is the cable management as I said earlier for which the case should have been a bit wider. So all in all this is a case which is perfect for a home theater PC, work PC and even gaming systems. Thanks for watching this video review, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also another thanks to Cool Monster for sponsoring us.